He's the director of the film, y'all. That's right. We're going to go watch it right now. Yeah, we I'll are. be I'll be I'm, me. I'm gonna watch her watch Which it. Which a tall line man. That's right. Still on the line. <laughs> All right, we're here at the premiere of Glenn Campbell's I'll Be Me. You just met director James Keach, and we're going to follow him in to go watch the film. Come on, let's go. Great, you got to be in front of the camera. Can we switch this up? Can we interview you? Yeah, come on over. Carla, wh Carla, why are you here? Keach, you have a Broadway family alumni. What, here to celebrate Glenn Campbell? Baby. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Avenue Q up in this joint. <laughs> Y'all are crazy down. Thank you for stopping to talk to me. All right. In support of my, my brother, who I'm so proud of. He did a great job with this film. I happen to have seen the film, uh, and it's a, it's a wonderful movie. It's so moving and funny and touching, and uh, he spent a long time making this film and traveled with Glenn around the, the country, and it's just an extraordinary experience uh, for, for an audience, yeah. I'm well. How you doing this evening? I'm good. Good. I'm glad to be here with you guys to help you celebrate. I'm glad to see you again. And I looked on the um, the list for Variety, I think it was, and you guys are on like the first short list for um, the Oscars. Are you excited about that? How do you, what, are you, what are you supposed to say? Of course you'd be excited because a lot of people will see it if we're blessed enough to, to have that recognition from our peers. Do you know anything about Alzheimer's? I know a lot about Alzheimer's. I'm sorry you do. I am too. It's a, it's a progressive disease and we shot the movie two years ago. So we started in 2011, the movie's 2011, 2012, and he was still able to perform music at you know an exceptional level. Uh, and now he's sort of starting to fade, as people do with Alzheimer's, and, and uh, you know he's not as uh, able to perform music anymore. But he's you know he's content. He seems relatively happy. Well, the Lord gives me strength for each day, and he's so adorable that you know it's not hard to to be patient because he's just so sweet. I mean, there are definitely challenging moments, but I love him so you know. Well, amen to that. And Miss Ashley, you have a career that's about to kick off, don't you? That's right. I'm about to sign with a great record label called Dot Records under the Big Machine Label Group. So I'm very excited about that. Hopefully we'll be recording an album soon. Good. Well, I'm excited for both of you. You're a fabulous musician. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. And I'm going to keep my fingers crossed for you guys with the film. And just so you know, I'm good luck. I interviewed everybody from 20 Feet from Stardom last year, and they won the Oscar. So, yay. Thanks, ladies. Uh, uh, I was just in Nashville and the singer-songwriters, it's a big deal and I think they're the poets of our time and uh, he's certainly one of the better ones. Uh, he and I are good buddies, have been for many, many years. Mostly we play golf a lot and uh, along the way we sing a few songs. So uh, uh, I came to, uh, to see his movie. I'm, I'm dying to see it, yeah. My father passed away in 2001 of Alzheimer's disease. And that's my connection with the film. Is James, my friend who did the movie, and he asked me to be uh, if I'd come and, and, and talk about my experiences. I was happy and honored, and I'm so uh, uh, blown away and, and proud of Glenn and his family and, and what they did, and, and what hopefully, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that this film will do for for people that have Alzheimer's and for just the general public to know. Uh, what this disease is all about and, and give it its, its uh, you know, what, what people need to know to, to help so the future can change. Now we have a foundation and we honored uh, Glenn Campbell and Kim Campbell um, because what they did, you know, they managed to, to be brave enough to realize that as they were going to go through this obviously very difficult path, that they would allow us and open their, their, their hearts and open their home and open their experience to us and trusted us as filmmakers so we could tell a story that could impact people who have Alzheimer's and impact the world in terms of you know how important it is to um, address the issues and, and to take care of the caregivers because the caregivers have a really, really tough time. So I wanted to ask you, what was it like to tour around with your dad? Oh, it was incredible, you know. 
I, I had the pleasure to play with uh, Jimmy Webb too on, on tour and to play with the guy who wrote a lot of those tunes like his way and then to go on tour and play the same set of songs but like this other way you know that was an experience I'll never forget to have both back to back like that you know was that the first time you toured with your dad I played with him live but yeah the first time I've like toured as his drummer yeah that was uh pretty I'll never forget it <laughs> It was, a, it was the first time you toured with your sisters and your, your other brother, too, yeah? Yeah, actually, yeah. We've never, we've all played together, but not uh, as a band backing somebody, especially our dad, you know. So it's really interesting, but I got to say, if you got a dad that plays music, try it sometime. It's fun. All right, honey, that's a wrap for UPNRadio.com's Carla Renata's Corner. I'll see y'all next time. This was Carla Renata at the premiere of Flynn Campbell's I'll Be Me. Peace, love, and hair grease.